any time the enemy knows that you're about to come into your promise, he will tempt you with disobedience. You are not tempted with the thing. You're tempted with just pure disobedience. Mm, that's good, isn't it? That's good. Temptation is more about your purpose than it is the thing that's tempting you. It's really not about the man, the woman, the alcohol. It's not about those things. It's really not about the cussing her out. It's really not about being right. It's, it's really not about that. See, it's about your purpose. And it's about will you shut it up. It. Can you say no? Can you turn away? Can, can you run and leave your coat with them, Joseph? Mm, 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 mm. If you're being tempted, if you're being tempted, okay, tempted to lie, just fudge it just a little bit. Yeah, just can fudge it just a little bit. Tempted to sleep with somebody that don't belong to you. Tempted to sleep with your same sex. I'm just helping somebody. Tempted to out there. I'm tempted to lust. I'm not talking about just lusting about people for people. I'm talking about lust, period. I'm talking about when you see something somebody else has got. And you cannot think about what, you can't be thankful for what you have because you want what they've got. That's coveting. You are walking over into covetousness and you do not have a grateful spirit. I have to watch myself. I have got my, my husband, no, husband, honey, please don't say amen. If you could just, just hold it just for a minute. I mean, I, I can get a brand new car and ride by another car and say something about that car. And Dwayne's like, honey. You know, and I have to really watch it. I have to, you know what I have to do in that moment? Thank you, God, for what you gave me. Thank you. Somebody ain't got a car. Somebody ain't got legs. They can't even walk. Okay. You've got to learn to be thankful and grateful for what you have because that is a temptation. The enemy is tempting you with something. Okay. What that means is, is that the devil knows that you're close. It doesn't mean that you're unholy. It means the devil knows you're close. When we border on unholy is when we give in to it. And not just giving in to it, that's not what makes you unholy. But it's when you give in to it and explain it as okay. Woo! That's when we become unholy. Am I helping anybody?